In this video here, we're going to take a look at conditional probability. When we're looking at probability problems, you need to be aware that the probability of an event can change depending on the outcome of a previous event. And this is known as conditional probability. So the probability that A occurs, given that B has already occurred, the way that we express this here then, is the probability of A given B. We use this vertical bar here to represent conditional probability. But like we said, the way that we read this here then, so this is the probability that A occurs, given that B has already occurred. So this is given that. We read that vertical bar there as given. Okay. So let's just write down two properties here that should seem hopefully quite intuitive then for independent events. So for independent events here, let's just write this down. for independent events. So the probability here of A given B, let's just write this down in full. So A given B should be equal then to the probability of A given B complement. Probability of A given B complement. And that would be equal to the probability of A. Okay. And also the probability of B given A, probability of B given A, that would be equal then to the probability of B given A complement, so B given A complement, and that would be equal to the probability of B there. Okay, and like I said, hopefully that should seem quite intuitive. So the probability of A occurring here given that B has already occurred. That's equal to the probability of A given B complement here. So B hasn't occurred, which is equal to the probability of A. Same is true here um, for probability of B given A, probability of B given A complement. That's also equal to the probability of B. So that's everything that we need there for an introduction to conditional probability now. What we're going to do here now is just take a look at one quick practice question here, conditional probability. So we take a look here at this practice question. We have a two-way table showing which subject a group of year 11 students prefer. The two subjects here are history and geography, and you'll see it's also split up by male and female. So for this question here, we're asked to find three probabilities. So let's begin with part A then. So for part A here, we're looking for the probability that a randomly selected student studies history. So to begin with here, how many students study history in total? That would be 19. There's 19 students here who study history. Now we divide this here by the total number of students in this question, which in this case is 5. Okay, so we get 19 out of 40 there. And there we have it. So that's the solution there, 2A. And hopefully that seems straightforward. And in this case here, you hopefully also notice that there was no conditional probability here for part A. So we take a look at B now. And what you'll hopefully notice here compared to part A, is we do now have conditional probability. So for B here, we're now looking for the probability that a randomly selected student studies geography, given that they're a male. So in this case here now, we need to restrict the sample space. My sample space here now is being restricted to the male students, okay, because we're conditioning on that property. So in this case here now, my denominator here would be 20, because we have 20 male students okay so now out of those 20 students how many study geography or in this row here and that would be 12 okay we get 12 over 20 obviously you could give that something equivalent say 6 over 10 be over fine that would be absolutely fine as well i'll just leave it as 12 over 20 there okay well there we have it so that's the solution to b and then finally then for c here so for this question here, again, for a randomly selected student, what's the probability that they study history, given that they're female? So in this case here, again, we now need to restrict the sample space one more time. So again, this would be 20 students here who are female. So that's what we're restricting the sample space to here. Again, my denominator here would be 20. So now, out of these 20 students here that are female, how many study history? Well, that would be 11. Okay, so we get 11 over 20 there. And there we have it, so that's the solution to C. And that gives us the solution there to that question, question one. And that brings us to the end of this video. 
unconditional probability.